God's people had lived in Babylon for 70 years. Then King Cyrus, the king of Persia, took over Babylon and let them go home. Some of God's people went to Judah, but some of them stayed. Nehemiah stayed and worked for the king of Persia. One day, some men came from Judah. Nehemiah asked, how are God's people doing in Jerusalem? The men had bad news. The people are in trouble. The walls around Jerusalem are broken down and the gates have been burned down. Nehemiah cried. Then he prayed and fasted. The king noticed Nehemiah and asked, what's wrong? Why are you sad? Nehemiah was afraid. No one was supposed to be sad around the king. Nehemiah said, the city where my ancestors are from is in ruins, and the gates of the city have been burned down. The king sent Nehemiah to Jerusalem. Nehemiah inspected the walls and led the people to start rebuilding the walls and gates. The workers put in doors, bolts, and bars. They cut stones and lifted them into place on the wall, and they filled in gaps and holes. All around the city, people worked side by side. Soon, the wall was half as tall as it had once been. Not everyone was happy that Jerusalem's walls were being rebuilt. Some men who lived nearby were angry. God's people kept working on the walls, but their enemies made a plan to attack them and stop their work. God's people prayed and chose men to guard the walls all day and all night. But the people were discouraged. Our enemies are everywhere, they said. Nehemiah reminded the people that God was with them. Don't be afraid, God is great and powerful, Nehemiah said. Be ready. If our enemies attack us, God will fight for us. Enemies could threaten God's people, but they could not make God's people stop building. Their enemies were not in charge of rebuilding the wall. God was. So God's people went back to work. Some stood guard with weapons and others worked on the wall. Some men worked with one hand and held a weapon in the other. They were always ready to fight just in case. Nehemiah was a wise and good leader for God's people while they worked. In just 52 days, the wall was complete. The gates were repaired and the wall was restored. When all of Jerusalem's enemies heard that the wall had been rebuilt, they were afraid because they knew God was with his people. Nehemiah led the people to rebuild the walls around Jerusalem to protect them from their enemies. Jesus came to protect us from our greatest enemy, sin and death. He died on the cross and rose from the dead to rescue everyone who trusts in him.